All right, guys, here we are. Welcome, everyone. Our 2023 here. Um, we have some uh, some rather specialist guests here Ooh, uh, playing in the first round. So if you're unfamiliar, uh, Everwinter is Wick and Dicey's uh, winter December event here in Boston, Massachusetts. We are at the Waltham Weston, and uh, this will be a four-round event today, going into a top cut tomorrow. In round one, we have a couple people that are playing the game. <laughs> we have exactly two. Exactly two. Thanks, man. Uh, we have Rev Wrightman himself, and uh, and Mr. Nate GG. We have a grudge match round one. They requested to get matched up round one. Yeah, so and that was actually super cool. So one of the things that Brian did for this particular event was round one. Hey, Axel, how you doing? Morning. Round one, you could call out a grudge match and play against someone that uh, you got a grudge against. Morning, Buffalo Spin Shot Dad Paxes. Hey. Um, so Rev Right Mad of the Game Guardians podcast, as well as Nate GG of the Gamers Guild. Mm. Um, are decided to go head to head. So yesterday there was a charity event for Toys for Tots where players could uh, use donation dollars uh, to the charity to get additional tokens, which they could use to use for all sorts of different powers and stuff. Um, so Ben and, and Nate got a chance to do that. And uh, I believe uh, Ben alone raised about $190 himself just to try to beat Nate. Nice. Uh, he did end up saving the day and doing it, not only uh, creating a bunch of funds for a great cause, but also uh, was able to, to take down Nate. That's great. Right? I, I love the, the charity aspect of it. Uh, that's really, really cool that that was something people set up and people were willing to, to donate like that. Mm -hmm. um, so it looks like we have uh, for this first round. I, let's head over to the game screen now. Oh, yeah, they're getting right to it. They're, they're placing objective tokens already. Nice, nice, nice. So we know they're playing scoundrels and hammers. So we got classic ambush tokens and hammers. So there's going to be lots of cover, but also lots more attack dice. And they're playing at 18 threat. We know Ben uh, Red Right Mad is playing Hydra. And Nate GG is playing Avengers with a kind of a throwback list here. He said it should look pretty familiar to things we've seen him do before. Yeah, so I, I think I think you know for a fact, right? We're going to be seeing uh, probably some Agent Venom, um, maybe not, but that's that's my expectation of any Nate GG list is probably going to have Agent Venom in it. I can't imagine what kind of grudge anyone could have against either of those fellows. Would love to know the grudge. You know, I think it's I think it's just Ben trying to swing upwards. That's what you do. Never swing down. Swing up. Uppercut. You heard him. I did. You heard him. You just heard his name. Hey, Morgan, me, Dad. What? Morning. All right. So we got our objectives out. We can see our ambush tokens with the new blues. Hammers are the new reds. Yeah, those new generics are very nice. I like them a lot. I know the, they don't have as much of the, the flavor and charm as the other ones, but I like to not have to go dig through my bag of tokens. Yeah. It's like, I got blues and reds. Easy peasy. Oh, like remembering which, which consoles were what too is always like. Right. Because I lost a bunch of my tokens like immediately. Of course. So I'd be looking for like four seals tokens, but I only had three. So I was like, well, obviously this is meteors. <laughs> Right, but if you want to have the added flavor, most people still have the old tokens. Yeah. So well, everyone you could probably the, find them somewhere. So everyone this year running uh, some AOS, some Commander, the Wicked Brush event's going to be here like it was last year. Uh, pork Roll Protocol's here. They even gave us this cool little uh, guy. You played against a Pork Roll. Uh, oh my god, person. that's amazing. I didn't uh, see the tokens that are super nice as like opponent presence, which I think is always just a really cool. We're also too. being spider tracked. Yes, that's right. Uh, Matt Alex came over and sat on the table and said, I'm tracking you. Oh, creepy pores. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> that's a great <laughs> name. I like that. That's what I'm looking for. Alert box. Observe it like the old crisis tokens. Fair. Totally fair. All right. So it looks sweet. We know they're doing 18 threat with this uh, setup of crises, and they are selecting squads now. Taylor's distracting them. 
distracting nobody. Sure. <laughs> um, maybe Nate's just distracting himself. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm distracting Taylor. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of also not going to get by. As always, we have Taylor as our eyes in the sky, letting us know exactly what's going on. It sounds like a mirror. We also have um, the 40K stream in the room, so we've got uh, trying to not be too loud. Because <laughs> this room gets loud quick. Yes, it does. We learned that while we were setting up yesterday, there's like four people talking. I can't hear a thing. Uh, it's actually kind of nice, personally. I think it drowns it out so we can talk a little bit louder. We can, you know, talk about what misplay Ben is making. <laughs> if I find and a misplay was, of Ben's, and I'll be was impressed. a grudge match against Nate and <laughs> Right? <laughs> what crisis are they playing? They are playing uh, Scoundrels and Hammers. Scoundrels and Hammers. We got All right, looks like we're going to be getting rosters here. Strucker, Skull, Zola, Lizard. All right, so it looks like Ben is running. Cage, Iron Man, Cap, Cap. Uh, oh. Cosmic, Race, Sacrifice. So we have Baron Strucker for Ben. Uh, Skull Master of Hydra. Lizard. Ooh, and I like Lizard as a splash here. Right? And uh, the new Baron Helmet Zero, Zemo. I can't write this morning. And Not only that, but he's got the new Flashy Boy, too. Baron H. Zemo. And then as far as he's got some cards too here. Let's see, exceptional healing. Eye on the prize. Cosmic obliteration, one that I really like quite a bit. Brace. And uh, sacrifice. And then over to Nate. All right. I see a mind gem, so Loki must be there. He looks like OG Cap and OG Cap. We're good, man. With uh, no, Sam no, no, no. and Steve. Like, rounds are... Yeah, yeah, we're, we're gone. Yep, thank you. Um, we're, we're Loki we're with the Mind Gem. Luke and Iron Man. Hmm, that's an interesting... I like that one. Well, we saw Nate absolutely decimate opponents with that Loki Mind Gem yeah. at uh, the first Adepticon we So we have Avengers Assemble. He definitely knows what he's doing with that. Ricochet Blast. Heroes for Hire. Brace, those are fine, no, actually. Is Ricochet Blast the, from the original box set, or is that the new one? Uh, the Heroes for Hire? Or no, Ricochet Blast. Is that new or old? Uh, that's the old one, I believe. And... Oh, you may not want to show that sacrifice on the tree. Yeah, it was. And Sacrifice. Oh, Sacrifice. I just okay. couldn't tell what it was. <laughs> Cool. All right. So they, interesting. They have the same restricted cards here with brace and sacrifice. Way to keep that one on top, Taylor. Too, as you handed it to him on camera. Good job. <laughs> I'll send you an ad, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got our squads. We're gonna be. Do we know who's priority yet? Tell me more. Tell me more. Taylor, who's got that priority? Uh, Nate has priority. Nate has priority. I don't know how. He says, I don't know how. So, we don't have deployment yet. They're getting all their things ready to go. Got any big uh, predictions here for today, Tim? Yeah, like I kind of mentioned before, I think Ben will find that his first big mistake was, in fact, accepting the grudge match from Nate. <laughs> before the, he made his first mistake before the game even yeah. started, huh? Correct us. For what? No. All right, we got... I don't remember which button is the call. It's not on this. Ah, uh, oh, nuts. All right, I got my first think, call anyway. of the day. Because this is. Yeah, that music. It would be normally be the red one. I can I get it, it over there. Purple. Whatever. Um, well, you try no, to the, find the that. The purple one's Quinn. My first call of the day. Lizard is going to heal some damage. Uh, got you. Let's hope he doesn't get just one shot. Oh, yeah, that's it. There we go. There, then my first call of the day. Let's just gonna heal some damage. All right, we'll we'll go ahead with my first then. 
And uh, I think kind of one of the big things that we're going to see from, um, I think we're going to see a really pivotal Red Wing assault. Okay. I got to build up some like good faith with the cause because I'm always wrong. So I figure if I go for a nice softball. Oh, I just blast it out of the gate. Later in the day, I can go for something a little more uh, specific and unlikely. I think yours is still pretty safe, though, because Red Wing Assault is a fantastic attack. Yeah, you know what I mean? Anything with a free throw is the way to go, I always say. What I like about what we got right now is we still don't know who the leaders are. Both of them have two choices. Or does Ben have three? Is Helmet Zemo Hydra as well? Uh, yeah. Right? So he's got three choices over there? Well, so that's what they're doing right now. So so will Ben be able to have an additional uh, tactics card? Yeah. Because you determined that before deployment, right? After deployment. Okay, I thought it was after deployment. Then now you got me second guessing. So rarely bring two leaders. Yeah, I almost a never strategy, so I bring it pretty much whenever I can. Usually not to good effect. <laughs> I think your your tactic with doing it with criminal syndicate and switching oh kingpin for kingpin uh, to Moda. Yeah, yeah, I, I think like, that's I actually like, a really good play. I I kind of want to steal it. I mean, listen, that's what I'm all about. But then I have to use that tactics card, and the criminal syndicate have so many good tactics cards. They do. <laughs> All right, so we got Arnim Zola and Steve Cap down and Sam Cap. Getting you and the cap and make it happen. Uh, his name is Samwise Gamgee. Samwise Gamgee, Captain America. Captain Samwise Gamgee America. It's a shame that there's not a Marvel character named Frodo for Sam to just kind of protect a little bit. <laughs> do, do all the work for you, you mean? If you had to declare one of the characters on Nate's roster as Mr. Frodo, who do you declare? Well, obviously, Steve. Uh, Loki. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's not fair to Loki. <laughs> <laughs> well, because this seems even because he's got that like carry guy with him, right? Yeah. So he can't carry it for you, but he can carry you. Correct. Place you over here. So I guess it's whoever he carries this game, which might. Yeah, so the first uh, right cap or Iron Man or Loki. So it could be Iron Man or Luke Cage. See who's going down in the middle for Nate. Ben just put down a uh, lizard right in the middle. A lizard in the middle, and he's got much back. I like aggressive play from lizard. I haven't used him in so long. I miss that guy. You know what? Oddly enough, I started using him. He's so good. Yeah, he's, you know, some people might call him vanilla, but I think he's... He only does two things, but he does those things really well. I think he's vanilla bean, I guess, is what I'm getting to. <laughs> These two are easy, better looking than the golf announcers. Wow. Oh, thanks. All I can see is the hands, too. Wow. Oh, I thought he was calling us the golf announcers. That's what I thought, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I made sure to wear a different hat today so people could tell us apart. That is a, a licensed product that probably shouldn't be on stream, though, because it's not Marvel. That's true. It is licensed. No, it's not. It's not, though. <laughs> it's licensed to me. Want a cliff jumper? Welcome in. All right, so we may be looking at a Iron Man Frodo. I like that. Iron Frodo. Give him a free Iron Frodo. Free action in a way. The Mad Lads. The hey, Mad King. Lads. Hey, drop this. We got some so, grunts down, Hydra Troopers, arguably the best grunts. We'll try to get it down here to show off potentially at some other later point, but um, Will showed up today or yesterday with a... Uh, a Modoc that I can put on my face. I, I tried to put it on my face this morning. Very, it's pretty awesome. It's very tiny. Uh, so help me remember, the Hydra Troopers can interact with secures only, right? He got it. The Hydra Troopers can, can contest. Right. They can't, hold they, can't, they can't pick up extracts. Correct. That's the ninjas and shield troopers. Yes. And then the Ultron drones can't do nothing. Correct, but they blow up. Yeah, I mean, they can do damage, but they can't. They're kind of scary because you almost don't want to take them down. Where did Red Skull go? Okay. 
All right, so we do officially have uh, Steve Rogers as Nate's Sir, affiliation there, and Zemo over for Hydra, which means he is going to be grabbing his seventh Pegasus card, and it's High Council. You love to see so it, Chuck. Is, Where did Red Skull go? I can't see him. He's about halfway up. He's right below. Uh, which ones care about being dangerous? He's right above uh, the skid. Was he right next to Zola? He's right above the skid steer. He's right oh, here. I can't see him behind the skid steer. I can't see him at all from my angle. That's funny. All right, so Steve, Cap, and Zemo. Nice. Clarification. Zemo playing that card can be either Dace or KO. Right. Just bring in another Zemo. Take two, they're small. Cannot be advanced or pushed. I was just talking about uh, what they're activating for Leviathan armor. So he's on the Mystic uh, Defense, I believe. I do, we need to hit the little button. Is it button? Yeah. Make sure it's working correctly. Alright, we're going with first activation yeah. for Nate. Can't watch all day. I'm running a tournament that is restricting rosters to only Timeline 2024 characters. Only one roster per player, but still restricted. I like it. I like that people are kind of taking that format in a couple different ways. Fun. Uh, Adepticon did just announce their uh, preview for their events oh, yeah, for Adepticon yeah. 2024 as well. There's a bunch of dope Shatterpoint stuff. Loki found a hammer. Right away. We know what Loki does with those hammers, especially in Nate's hands. Correct. I think we've seen Nate literally punch out a Thanos with Loki with some hammers before. Yeah, I think he had three at that time. We are running, uh, ben is running up with Strucker. Looks like he's doing the same thing. I'm getting just within range of that hammer to pick it up. And then all day he'll have good luck. Uh, I'll go with the same Captain America. So yeah, if I, if I, like, Sam's going to start flying around. I think we're going to see some Fast and Furious play with these guys. We're going to have to keep up. So it looks like he's going to be doing the same thing with Steve. And by Steve, I mean Sam. Oh, we're airlifting right away. Nice. Yes, yeah, actually, if you check out Adepticon.org right now, um, you'll see their roadmap for when um, stuff is going to go live. Hairpin, thank you for the follow. And he's going to chuck some stuff at Strucker. Chuck the dice right out of the box. <laughs> the most unreadable dice I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, those so are crits. Like a couple crits, so it's showing four. So only one's going to go through. One damage on Zemo. Nope, Strucker. I'm going to get all my barons mixed up. Just be ready for that. First blood, yeah. Just, I mean, it's a single blood, but like, that's how you got to start. It's victory point. Mm -hmm. Starts with one. <laughs> one day or day one. One, day one blood or, or day blood one. one. I'm going to blood you. I'm going to maybe get a victory point one day. All right, here goes. Next. Now it's Baron Zemo. Oh. That Baron. Baron. Moving up to that ambush token. Kind of a nice place to hang out. Oh, that's why he went say, from yeah, right. long to medium. He had that middle name added. So Taylor just said that uh, that's the reason uh, Baron Helmet Zemo is only a medium mover instead of a long mover, because uh, it takes longer to say his full name. <laughs> he does have that glue gun. Is he going to try to shoot a Loki with a glue gun? I love that glue gun. No, it looks like he is just going to double move up and be a little bit further ahead on that. Scoundrel. Double double move. All right, he's going to move it back over to Nate, who has a couple options left, including Luke Cage and Steve. And Iron Man. And Iron Man, some might say. I almost forgot about Iron Man because he's not on the line anymore, but he did super special stuff. Is Luke Cage a medium mover? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he, uh, That's he dope. has a hammer now. Mm -hmm. Ooh, sweet Christmas with a hammer? Noise. I don't know. You see sweet Christmas twice. You only do zero damage to Wolverine. That can happen, yeah. Stupid. 
Taylor's not bitter about a game we played about a week ago at all. Two weeks ago. I don't even know what it was. So then he is going to move up to that center scoundrel? Yeah. Which, uh, I mean, if you were going to struggle to put damage on Cage in the first place, now you're really going to struggle. Uh, yeah, I, I like Luke Cage in this in this crisis. He, I think he's a great one to be on. You know, he's not blue, but Luke so. Cage is such a beast. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a second. I'm afraid to say. <laughs> so Lizard does the same thing, picks up a hammer, moves to the middle token. That's gonna be Yeah. <laughs> Potentially. With two of the toughest three threats just duking it out in the middle. My mic one or two. Uh one. I do believe. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's free real estate. <laughs> All right, Steve Cap is moving up, doing some measuring, probably for a bodyguard, I assume. Mm -hmm. Throwing his shield at Zemo. Hoopa. Just barely. That is a way to go up there and say, I am here. Uh, I get that reference. Pretty good at this game. I mean, I'm not, but. <laughs> oh, and the lizard. They bamboozled us. Nothing. Oh, and it bounces into Zemo. Nice. Or, sorry, ricochets. Uh, All right, it looks like one three damage blocking two, so just one goes through. That's two more power for Captain America. Let's see, right man's got Red Skull and Arnold Zola left. We're moving up with Zola. Zola has his own brand of cola. Zola Cola. And also gives his employees a cola every year, which is a cost of living adjustment, which helps Hydra Troopers and AIM Troopers alike uh, to make sure that they can register and have a good cost of living. And dental. Wow. I thought they were AIM bad guys. AIM actually doesn't offer dental, but Hydra does. Um, which, when given the choice between the two, that is in fact why Hydra Bob is Hydra Bob and not AIM Bob. Fair. He also didn't want to wear the big bucket hat. Correct. He likes the goggles more, I think. Well, the goggles just are so, they fog up so much less than a full face mask. <laughs> uh, looks like Zola just double moved. Stay within one of that back uh, ambush token. Measuring out some, uh, so that repulsor blast from Iron Man, looks mm -hmm. like. Yeah, I mean, might as well push a lizard off a point, right? He is going to spend for Friday Super as lizard. well. Oh, so he's measuring to stay out of Baron Strucker's range, it looks like. So this is going to be some aerial uh, lizard hunting? Nothing. Still nothing in lizard. I don't see any wilds either, so no push. More like Friday goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, that was so bad. It was good. I like to just kind of like loop the meat around. I mean, it's like a baby walrus. They're so ugly. They're cute. <laughs> exactly. That's what they said about me. <laughs> All right, we got Hydra Grunts moving up. Probably going to shoot somebody. Into the Man of Iron. Oh, but he's invincible. Showing just one with the rerolls. Still just showing one. Washing it. Wow, they're not doing a lot of damage this first round. A lot of attacks for first round, though. Yeah. I feel like a, I feel like we usually have two or three attacks, and they've made like five or six now. Right. Aggressive. Who are you calling ugly? Baby walruses are beautiful. That's what I'm saying. They're so ugly. They're cute. <laughs> All right, so that is going to be Red Skull moving up. And looks like he's going to get up for uh, round two to just be real aggressive about Whoa, it. Whoa, super aggressive. Just right to the middle of the board, past the middle of the board. Mm -hmm. I like it. <laughs> oh, we're finishing round one here. 
Four to right. four. Ending round one. Four to four. 424. There's a little lag sometimes. Uh, that four to immediately four. almost updated on screen. Cool. We're getting good at this. Right. All right. So it looks like Nate keeps his priority. That's going to be the power phase. Real important here, too, against uh, Red Skull Master. Uh, right yeah, he the looks line. scary right there. Can't will have enough for a shield smash, though. Do you just go? What do you think? You just go right into him as hard as you can? And probably throw him in the hole, oh, yeah. Oh, but he can't be. Oh, if he keeps the Mystic Defense up, then he can't be. Can he, does he can't be thrown with that? Maybe he's just pushed. Or probably not pushed or, or advanced or something. A lot of those things don't block throws. Oh, they're going over Cosmic, uh, cosmic Obliteration right now, which is stellar. Nice. Um, effectively, any any Red Skull can spend any amount of power to put Hex, Root, or Incinerate on enemy characters within range 3. It's one of my favorite new cards Oof. out of the new cord box. It is absolutely stellar. Stellar. Is he using uh, it? Tax his cards off screen. That's a pretty good thing. Oh, Two strikes. Two strikes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, got a, I got a double for you. One. Yeah. <laughs> it's a two for one ability. deal. It's an innate. It's a two-touch hitter. Is this fine over here? Are they fine over here? Yeah. Anything not on the mat is good. Why? You all day. You good? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, we will go with uh, Loki. All right, we're starting with Loki. And, and I declare an attack into Red Skull. He is going into Red Skull. With I am a god, he has a hammer, he's going to be coming blank here. Ooh, that could hurt. Looks like a decent roll. Looks like four. Red Skull blocking three. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, so two. Oh, two damage five. through. Nice. It's an okay start. He's a god. He is a god. And I mean, that refunds the I'm a god, right? That's all that matters. Yeah, he gets it right back with the strike. <laughs> I mean, probably just roll right back. Red Skull's got, what, seven health? I believe. What's up? Does Red Skull have seven health? I can't recall. Not fan. Pretty sure. How much health does he have left? Oh, yep. They said he's five left, so look at me knowing things. Thinking about, Ooh. was it Mesmerize? Mesmerize is the trigger, I think. It's Mystic, though. Yes. Illusions with Mesmerize as the trigger on two. Oh, levels. that's what it is. Illusions. <laughs> They're not tricks, Dad. <laughs> Go big or go home is what I always say. I, I don't like it personally. He's going for it though. Because he's in his missile defense, isn't he? He's got a sac. Oh, Zola, Zola what a sacrifices dude. to take it. Yeah. Yarn in Zola does have four defense against this. That looks like a good roll. I want to see some skulls, though. I mean, uh, cover. I, don't, I can't pop crits on every roll, so uh, you're cover with logs or the screen there. So it's like, uh, One and goes through. Ooh. Ooh. And he gains an extra power for opening that skull. Not a fantastic first activation for Nate, but at least he didn't do nothing. Yeah. That's going to be. <laughs> so like Loki's got just enough power for shenanigans. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go with Zola. Oh, Zola first. Oh, interesting. He's gonna shoot some uh, some pistols. Was that a prototype weapon? Mm -hmm. The zap. Mist Mystica Steve. Okay, but you know what? What would Steve do with more power outside bodyguard forever? Mm. 
not a not a stellar roll there. Just showing looks one. Looks like one. And strategic genius. No damage again. Jeez Louise. Oh, the cover stopped the last one. That's right. He's on an ambush token. Looks like he's going to try to go to. I think he's directly on top of it, actually. Loki, the second one. Okay, so this is going to be. He is going to ESP Blast. Thank you for. Uh, protect us. Ooh, sorry. Uh, for the follow. So focus ESP box blast. Oh, and a Loki. You can see. I need to see your dice. Oh, oh, oh. So, because you can declare I am a god after the roll. Oh. <laughs> So Ben decided to get around I am a guy by just not rolling any crits. Yep. Easy feet, easy peasy. And that is a slowed Loki. Slow mm. and, a push. and damage, and uh, what some might call a push. Wow. It's a lot of things all at once. You know, it's, you know, I think a good push in the morning is usually a good way to start the day. Mm. Oh, he pushed it towards him. <clears throat> Well, he wanted to get him out of get over here. Yeah. Because Nate had done very good keeping Captain America right there. And that's going to be so activated. Steve is up. Come in. <laughs> there we go. Lindsay, someone's at the door. Can you get that? They just keep knocking. <laughs> They're getting insistent. All right, we got a shield slam into Red Skull here. This is what I said. Looks like a good roll from me. I see a lot of token, a lot of symbols. Two damage going through on sure Red Skull. All right, so because of the Loki tax there, it did cost him two power for that reroll. Loki oh. tax doing heavy work here. Uh, and he rerolls into a skull, which is now also going to give Zola bleed. You know, Loki tax is really good when you remember it. Mm -hmm. I've played a fair bit of Asgard recently. I don't think I ever remembered it once. The no crits, too. He's like, it's a huge deal. Pretty stellar. I, I think Loki is a very underrated piece just because he can be difficult to use because you got to remember that stuff. Mm -hmm. But Nate is clearly a practice very player who knows what he's doing. From Ooh. Brace. Oh, Brace from the throw. Uh, so he now has four damage. I got four damage, so I got three. Uh, so he braced to take one damage when he threw him into the building? Interesting choice. Every damage on Red Skull is incredibly impactful. Posture check. Uh, oh, throw Ricochet. Ricochet. And we're gonna go with the ricochet throw here. Shield slam. Oh, shield slam. Another shield slam. Uh, Showing four. So that'll do it. He's got his back for Just enough. Was better for some rerolls. I think I think the important thing is that whenever you play against Nate GG, you have to just assume it's April 18th and it's tax season. <laughs> All right. So is that is that a day's red school? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So no grunts activating this round either. Yeah, that's huge. But so that is Red Skull Days. That's going to be pretty huge here. Yeah, pretty massive. I mean, that's that's like the damage dealer for this. I think squad. I think potentially after this game, wow. talking about moving Loki up was making everyone have tax time. I don't know if you knew this or not, but only triples can kill tax master. 
<sighs> right now, only triples. Mm -hmm. <sighs> That's tough to do, man. Yeah. Did I tell you about how I actually rolled a Yahtzee in a recent game of MCP? No. Five dice. Um, strike. Just builder. Five hits. I, you know, I do think I may have heard about this in a Facebook message. There's a lot of exclamation points and a lot of capital letters. I was like, well, I would have liked a wild here, but I'll take five hits. You yeah. know, <laughs> I'm not going to complain about it. <laughs> I was like, I think that's the first time I've ever actually seen a Yahtzee. Yeah. I should have taken a picture. Because you get re-rolls in dice thrones, right? So it's never on the first roll. Right. All right. So he's going to quick step here with Zola. On to the point. I'm going to stab Captain America. I'm trying to. All right, going, going with a stab here. Zola into cap. Blank and blank, baby. Yeah, and right Matt is not getting a lot of luck with those strategic genius re-rolls. It's not really turning into anything. You could create that situation without too much effort. Let's see if we can stagger a for the picture. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. But it wouldn't be authentic if I just recreated it. All right, so this is cage and a half into a uh, lizard. Uh, ben is doing his impersonation of Tim France there and rolling four hits on a defense roll. <laughs> so how much went through there? Oh, it was just one. Um, so, oh, right. Swinging that right back. Right man got lucky with only one. And he staggered his lizard with a sneak crisp. There's two wilds. Oh, I thought he said he got it. Fire blades are right. So I block two, reduce one, so take five. He takes five. Is that that dazes him? He might exceptional. Oh, he doesn't have enough power. Uh, With the Loki tax there. Oh, because he has a hammer, he doesn't have enough power to exceptional healing. Mm -hmm. He drops the hammer. Looks like Luke Cage picks it right up. Wow. See, that. He won bait, well, one activation shot. Lizard. I almost had that as my big shot call. <sighs> That he was going to one-shot him? That, like, Lizard just going to get one-shot. That's, <laughs> That's wild. You don't see Lizard go down that quick, usually. You're welcome. It really is. 100% of the time, 100% of the time. <laughs> it's the only way to fly. It's the only way to fly. I think your first call might be right so far. About <laughs> Ben's first mistake. Yeah. <laughs> it's think, far from over. I think the, I think the play here, right, hmm? is to make sure that the timer's on Nate's side and then just go on a rant and distract him about <laughs> dice rolls for a while. <laughs> Oh, uh, that, that should have been. Even though burning the brace, you had, you had to burn a lot to yeah. try to stop it from happening. So it sounds like right man is pacing. Can't account for spikes. Yeah, you never know that they're talking about what's happened so far. And right man is just saying that like lizards should not have gone down there. And it's like, well, yeah. I mean, Red Skull probably shouldn't have either. Like, with averages, yeah, but it's a nice game. Was, I mean, he got he sacrificed the spender off. He used the brace. Like, looks like another great roll from Nate. And the uh, so you take three. Shield throw on his record. All right, so that's Sam shield throw. He doesn't care about your cover behind the building. Now the grunts are gonna like absolutely pop off here on the defense. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> But only one goes through. I love that. Bounce into the grunts that can't even activate. <laughs> Just kick them while they're down. Uh, 
So Nate is just going on a rampage here. He might be struck her too. Taylor, how much damage went through on Strucker? Well, how much what? Damage? Yeah. One. Oh, wow, that much? He's dazed now. Wow. Two shield throws took him down. Good news is this game will be slow. Awful game will be over. He's going to come in and get some force. Iron Man's going to pick up uh, Strucker's hammer. As much as Iron Man does not like hammer, he doesn't mind a hammer. All right, he's going to try to take down the grunts here with this freshly acquired hammer. He's already removed. It <laughs> just removes him. And that is grunts down. And then you're slapped back. Uh, this is a brutal second turn. He's right, dazed. So one for Rev. Three characters and remove the grunts. Absolute, absolute powerhouses. I don't know why we don't have a crowd right here. The score is nearly max points. Wow. Five to 12? Oh, 11. Yes. Five Okay, that'll be five, two. Oop. Double click supposed to turn it down. Nuts. <laughs> Stop giving him more points. Oh, it's a slight hold. Slight hold. Down. 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 Priority bank here. That's true. World's his oyster now. I mean, very legitimately, like, Ben's in a rough spot, but I mean, Red Skull could do a lot. It's definitely not over yet. Red Skull's got to have, he's got to be flush with power right now. I mean, pretty much all of his characters are flush with power with how much damage he just took. Um, I mean, Red Skull could really pop off here. Yeah. I, mean, I think he's got to go with that first here. Right? With the skull, I, th I think that's definitely the first move. I were, if I were Nate, I would be focusing heavily on Red Skull this round just to get him off the table. Yeah. In the words of Chuck, if you got a pocket full of dice and a fist full of dreams, you got a fighting chance. Red Skull knows he. Love those words, wisdom from Chuck. Talk it through it a little bit to see what. So you make me burn. Sounds like talking, I'm kind of talking through the turn here, seeing what they might want to do. Ben's thinking about going with Lizard and trying to take Cage down. Which I don't hate at all. I'm potentially pick up two kind of hammers. They're kind of talking about the uh, the play here on exactly what to do. Hey, happy Hobbit, happy man. How are you? Oh, shuckle my butters, fabulous. Bouchon. Bouchon. Thank you. Get some measuring. Thank you for the follow. Chuck was dancing before his time. Oh, wait. <laughs> so on the way out here, um, your boy, you know, trolled a little bit, got, got you know, to play some music and put on some Elite Eight Showdown. And we had a great time with it. It was really funny. It was a good episode he picked. It was the, the second uh, one. Worth, yeah. I wasn't going to listen through that one again. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, we did the worst Christmas ever. Or worst Christmas, worst thing about Christmas. Thanks, Happy Habit. Have a nice sleep. Absolutely, man. Thank you. <coughs> All right, Hydra Troopers came in. They shoot Loki, but Loki tricksters. He's going to I'm a God here to count those legs. And he blocks two with those. Loki takes, Loki takes wow, two okay. from that. Now listen, all right. Troopers, Troopers are back. It's a game. Game on. Uh, 
Uh, All right, so we're getting Empowered Gauntlet here into Cap. He is going to spend for the shield. Counting blinks. Um, so many blocks and yeah, failures. When, when he gets to count blanks. Zemo re-roll. Oh, a block into a skull. So oh, means skull's now bleeding. So we got four. That's one to, to Steve Cap. Just one. One goes through. Oh, I didn't get the trigger for Blitz either. Why did he take the Blitz to get onto the ambush token? Is he just too, why is he not taking the Blitz? He triggered the Blitz. He doesn't have to take it, but he should get that to go on the point. I heard Nate say no Blitz. Oh, gotcha. I don't think he triggered it. I don't remember what the trigger is. I will say Nate's strongest strength is playing mind games and uh, I can never beat him in a social deduction game. It'll never happen. Mm -hmm. He's got a good poker face. Mm -hmm. Okay, going for Empowered Gauntlets again. And once again, a lot of blocks. See more hits this time, I think. Showing four. I don't think like Ben was happy with that roll. I mean, effectively, I mean, the major the major purpose uh, of Empowered Gauntlets is that pretty much everything counts as a success outside yeah. of blocks and skulls. And he's really channeling. He's got two. It's going to cost him a lot, though. With OP. He does convert. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, block five. One damage again. Oof. Two empowered gauntlets. Two total damage. That's right. Is my understanding that he can, in fact, do this all day? Apparently, even on his healthy side. Right. At least Nate's <laughs> camp. Well, I mean, and really, legitimately, at the end of the day. This was Loki. Like, it was Loki two all for a reroll on Arnim Zola. Yeah. Spending three for Empowered Gauntlets instead of two. Um, Loki really just absolutely tashed him into the ground. Okay. Cosmic obliteration? No breathing. Uh, so we spent two to, to put on Loki and Luke Cage. Loki and Luke. That's how they. That's Loki and Luke. Ben, Ben, stepping out for a moment, take a little break. He's getting a drink. He's gonna do worse if I start gambling. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Ben needs a drink. <laughs> <laughs> so Ben, sober for 35 years, is now. <laughs> He's just getting water. <clears throat> Still being a I great mean, sports through the but, whole thing. He didn't change the clock over until he came back with his drink. Well, um, this Taylor was, Jesus is back for like Oh, I thought he hit it. <laughs> Taylor changed the form when he left. Oh, that's but funny. I mean, very legitimately, like, like you actually hate to see it, Chuck. I mean, the thing about it is, I haven't gotten a nosebleed yet. Somehow, you're about to <laughs> <laughs> keep talking. <laughs> Just step to the other side of the table, Taylor. <laughs> Save yourself. Oh, I like that. Happy Hoppus says Lady is kit and brought his phone to him <laughs> and dropped it on him to wake him up. So he's watching him again. Yeah. <laughs> Shaking the hex on Loki. One. Is he a solo guy? Yep. Or I'm God and he's striking the Zola. Striking the Zola. Punching that robot man. He's blocking one. Okay. Good cover. Wow. Loki's got at least, I think he's got two hammers now. No, just one. Oh, is Loki in range of the thing too? Oh, yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Because he uh, trickstered. Uh, power. We'll spin that like two, two went through. Looking at potentially a mind gem here. 
<laughs> Today's stream is brought to you by Big Chuck's Chuckery. He's got the big meats. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's all ground chuck. <laughs> Just raw. Oh, uh, it doesn't even chuck roast, too? Oh, yeah, but it's ground chuck roast. Oh, nice. His chuck is really down to earth. He's really grounded. <laughs> I just watched TikTok about grinding your own beef. What's my meat then? Buying, I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Mine, mine, Jim Lizard. Oh, yeah. Mine, Jim Lizard said, "Go over there, please." Mole crawl is a pretty cool thing that can also hurt you. Against a mine, Jim. It really is. This is Red Skull. So are there multiple games going on or is that in other rooms? Yeah, so great question, x -Paxes. So there's a big, huge room where there's, uh, I think, 15 tables set up. Uh, so this is a 32 player event. Uh, it was sold out, maxed out, which is awesome to see. Uh, so this is table 16 um, with 15 other tables going on with two players each in the uh, big room. Big, big room with lots and lots of food. Oh, really? I want food. Big, big yard where we can play MCP. Oh, why did you play that on salad? My cards keep flying around. All right, Ben's talking some stuff out, trying to figure out what his next play is going to be. Okay, so spending four for. Okay, so Eric is here. I like it. I love Eric. So Strucker and the Iron Man, I assume. That looks like a good roll for Strucker. It does. Uh, two, it's four goes through four after Invincible. Okay. And he heals to full. He wasn't flipped, right? Uh, he did days last turn. He was flipped, yeah. He was flipped. Or he is flipped. He's fine on his injured side. All right. Iron Man is... Uh, Coming back, uh, spending for Friday AI. Strucker blocking two so far. Blocking two. Reroll, because he's a genius, strategically. I get the ball push. He does get the push, though. x says, thank you so much. Oh, so Shorty Paint Studio and Tubert. I mean, actually, two great people getting hey. gift subs from x says, Thank you, sir. What a good dude. I appreciate that. What a good dude. <clears throat> Pushed struck her off the point, and now Iron Man's moving away. Yep, look, he likes he's heading on back. Well, he just took four damage. Yeah, he said, I don't, I don't need to be on that point right now. Yeah. But, yeah. He's a hurdy boy. Uh, I love that. Uh, Buffalo uh, Spinshot Dad packs says, fill up that green bar. Uh, right? <laughs> and a hydrate from uh, hot uh, ink. I gotta go get some water then. Was it in the hall? Uh, hey, look, I did it! Hey guys, I did it! So, so he's gonna I am a god here. So that is going to be a Loki dazed by the Zola, yep. the rock and roll of that Zola. He's going to pick up that hammer as well. Now his experimental weapons are even more experimental. All right, so we're going to shoot. Cage now with a hammer and some experimental weapons. Gotta respect the hydrate. All right, that one crit. <clears throat> Nate apparently furious, just throwing dice all over the place. So he is going to spend three here to get three rerolls. So he will take two now because of the cover and the uh, impenetrable skin. 
Mm. Even though he rolled no successes on the defense. <laughs> Yeah, like a great spot for like, him like to be. Like I said, right? Luke Cage very difficult to take down mm. on a scoundrel point. He got skin as hard as steel. That's why I tell people all the time. When you're getting to the point where, like, I'm just going to walk away. So what does Nate have left this round? Same camp? What's that? I think it's it. <laughs> it's like, oh, Luke Cage still hasn't gone. Oh, he's going to take that point. If that been in Reno, that. my wife would have let us drive four hours to see you guys. Aw. I mean, we're going to be in Vegas in January. I know Reno from Vegas is also apparently, you can see it from Vegas. You can look over there and what? see Reno. Yeah. yeah. But it's eight hours away. What? It's all flat. That's so weird. Yeah. The, we're, <laughs> the thing what we do that just boggles my mind. I can't comprehend it. Yeah, we can drive it. to New York City and back. Yes, this is an LVO. This is Everwinter. Boston is going to be a lot further for you than, uh, than Reno. <laughs> a lot further. <laughs> you better get started. You won't be here before the event's over. Right. I think it's 36 hours from Vegas to uh, New York and then another four to Boston. Just drive faster. Oh, that's true. It's only a 40 hour drive, man. <laughs> Easy clap. That's it. All right, looks like Cage just double moved to get onto the point that Iron Man vacated. Mm -hmm. You got to keep them vacated. So, Lizard's moving over. Move over and nice so throw some stuff. Give him a toss. Hey, Prone Colo E. Thank you for the follow. Thanks. Doctor said no flying. No, yeah, super fair. Oh, happy you Russia, should. happy Hobbit. Yeah, for real. So you can make sure you clear your own base. So yeah, Lizard's just going to go over there and home chuck Luke Cage off the point. Classic beta rebuild type move, just double move throw. It's a very Great powerful activation. one, right? Like, I mean, in general, clearing a bunch of space and... Because he's a medium mover, right? Lizard, yes. Yeah. His throw only goes short, though, so he had to make sure, yeah, well, Nate was saying he just had to make sure he cleared Lizard base, which was fine. Just says, no, he just picked him up and placed him over there. <laughs> so I believe that leaves Sam Camp? Both Camps, doesn't it? Or that was all this round? Oh, yeah, did Steve Camp go? Yeah. I don't believe so. So he's going to airlift. Once again. Who do, who do he now? I told you this is my big Chuck call. Yep. Red Wing is on. He's going to try to throw Lizard into Strucker, I think. Remember that? Remember that time I called this? Remember that time I. <laughs> this? Just missed the button. <laughs> I'm liking that there's a Hydra symbol up there, right? What can I say? Happy Hobbit. Yeah, Tim did a nice job getting that working. Looks good. All right, so the charge and a shield throw. Shooting for one, and he just blocked the one. And it's gonna, he did trigger the wild, so we'll go into Strucker here. Showing three wilds on the defense with a reroll. Sounds like the dice are doing Ben some more favors. Yeah. Any, really. Keep in minute. Nothing. You got two power for it, though. One for each target, which is really nice. Yeah. Here comes the Red Wing Assault. Here it is. When the throw happens here could be very important. Yep. Oof. No defense. With the wild. Four, three, and covers so only three damage. He takes three, and he gets thrown. I assume into Strucker, so he takes four. Oh, looks like he's just going further away. No. Oh, he is. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Strucker doesn't block anything. Strucker is gone. KO'd from that. So, hey, your call was right. Lizard just has to survive to his next uh, activation for my to be right. Yeah. 
<laughs> so like I said, man, you gotta you gotta come out of the day swinging, and then then you've set it up. You've already done it. Everything else I do today could be wrong, but it doesn't matter. I got that first one in game yeah. one. That's game. Oh, they're calling they're, they're calling it there. So what's the final score? All right. So they shook hands to GG, Saint GG. Yeah, so that does in fact mean Honor is no longer intact. Taylor, watch out. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go ahead and. Uh, I'm glad your chest doesn't hurt any more, Happy Habit. That makes me happy too. I think it ended 16 minutes. I'm not sure what that was. Okay, 16 to something. Um, yeah, well, wow. one hammer left. I think he was scoring at least two there. At least one. Whew, okay, that was a surprising blood bath, blood bath for the first game. That's yeah, that's wow. very very accurate. I um, was not expecting that. Let's go ahead and take a look to see if any of the other long chase games are done for the day, or done for this. Uh, <laughs> Be a little surprised if others were that fast, but maybe it's we're an hour in, right? Fair. So it seemed really quick. <laughs> Just came in to see it finished. <laughs> yeah, Gil, it did. Hey, Gil, by the way, um, this is going to be announced on uh, the next Hobby Hangout. But Gil, um, my friend, uh, you got you be, you came in as runner up for the PCN Heroes of the Hobby oh, yay. award. Um, so Alyssa took first place, and Gil came in second. Yeah, Gil just popped in. Uh, Taylor says hi. Uh, but so, so you'll be getting a uh, credit for the PCN uh, store, so you can pick up an item or uh, a shirt or, or something along those lines of your choice. But nice. congratulations, man, and thank you for being such an overwhelmingly positive part of the community. For real, <laughs> it was pretty neck and neck too. You had a lot of you had a lot of weight pulling in your corner, which was awesome to see. Uh, it was actually really cool. There was one point where like all four contestants in the PCN Heroes of the Hobby were like deadlocked. Oh, and nice. Yeah. That's good. This shows that it's... All right, so there definitely are some other games done. Oh, nice. Um, let's go to the Versailles. Is Taylor the Island's guy? He is. Oh, so Matt, Ronan himself with Guardians, beat Gabe round one. Really? Uh-huh. Wow. Playing some Cabal. Uh, and then there was a buy round because there was a, a last minute drop. So Nick won 14 to zero. Oh, congrats, Nick. <laughs> Which Nick? Uh, <laughs> not that Nick? So Nick De Palma, who's not DVA Nick and is not Nick Menard. I think he's not that Nick. I think he wears the jersey that says that on the back. Uh, Nick Menard uh, wears the not, oh. not that Nick one. Nuts. A lot of Knicks. There's also Jean Nicholas. So, a lot of Knicks here. Today. So many Knicks. We're actually, oddly enough, if there's three to four Knicks here, we have 32 players. That's a pretty considerable ratio. It really there. is. Oops, all Knicks. Um, happy to hear and congrats to the winner. I voted for someone nine guys, guys, eighties. So yeah, so guy uh, really started, I guess. Uh, yeah, a lot of great um, entries for him. Uh, really got the the Israel the MCP community started and going, and uh, awesome. led them to, uh, to to attempt to go to the uh, the WTC, which which Gil ran, which was a huge reason why he was nominated, because um, that event went off really well. Um, the WTC this past year in Copenhagen, Denmark. But Super cool. What is that? Taylor's got a parfait. Oh, so Taylor is always trying to hunt down clam chowder in a lot of these hotels here in Boston. So I saw him with a cup of like creamy white stuff and was like, "All right, how do you find it?" I found it. Also, Boston, there's a bunch of crack chowder. Top. The date. Ooh, nice. Gil. Okay, cool. Oh, we have a date already. So they have a date already for next year, so it'll be... WTC. For WTC, yep. Uh, will be no November, November 19th and 20th. November 19th and 20th. Yeah, the Europeans do it in a way that makes sense with a day first, then My month. My brain literally just... <laughs> also, uh, there's just, no months that are 19 or 20, so... Uh, that's not... Oh, okay, yep, <laughs> fair. <laughs> Yep, no. I was like, what about leap years, Dan? Oh, no, he said it's actually October. Oh, thank gosh. Dude, I was worried. I was like looking up when Thanksgiving was next year. <laughs> like, 
That'd be really early for Thanksgiving. Don't worry, Tim. I did it too. All right, dope. So that'll be WTC in October of next year, uh, the 19th and 20th. Same weekend as this year. That's actually perfect. Very cool. So what that what that'll do to me is create a process where I assume it's the 19th and 20th every year because it was in the same day two years in a row. Yeah. But as long as it's in the same time frame. Per, uh, in the calendar right now? You're wow. the best, man. So, uh, Taylor already putting in the PCN calendar. Oh, Taylor, Cliff Jumper says hi. Hi, Cliff Jumper. The MCP WTF. <laughs> 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 But so hour and a half rounds started at 11. So I think we have about 25 minutes until the next round. So we might be able to talk to one of these gents here quick. Um, but yeah, they're going through right now. These uh, two players, thankfully, seem like good friends or at least did before this uh, round started. Um, but yeah. I don't know. It seems pretty good. Ben's not that red. Anymore. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, let me see if either wants to come have a seat for a minute. Yeah, once they're once they're done talking through the game here. But uh, but uh, but yeah. So I think that's one of the cool things about um, this. This was kind of a new thing that Brian added uh, for every winner this year was the the grudge match. So I believe uh, Will Castillo uh, called out um, Alyssa. Oh yeah, they, they got to play round one. Nice. Um, is PCN been there? No. <laughs> well, it's kind other of technically, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. PCN Ben Relaford is always in our hearts yeah, and in our hearts. Yeah, Papa lost Omen's solo stream. Ben, not that Ben. <laughs> he wears a bunch of hats. <laughs> yeah, not PNC Ben. Which what did that stand for? PNC. Do you remember when you said the grocery store PNC? On that Christmas sounds Street? familiar. Yeah. Price, not cost. Uh, parcels near cooked. Uh, ponies and cigarettes. So that two things I I just immediately equate to cash. Right. Well, that's why it has to. You have to say both in the title. Yeah, right. I think is is kind of the way to go. Otis. Otis. Yeah, game is done already. Um, it was it was a quick, uh, high damage game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bunch of spikes. But listen, uh, I like the I like the thought in general of uh, Red Skull and Loki both being able to count blanks. Just. First, that tax, that low key tax, I think absolutely it's, uh, confirmed this game. That hurt, and the the hammer played a big role. You don't see it come up that often. The so uh, costing additional power to play a tactic card. Yep. But that kept Lizard from using exceptional healing, which would have which would have been huge in that case. He did like five damage to take him down, and only doing one there would have made a big change. Well, I think that was so. It was one of those one of the things, right? I think uh, he deployed Loki pretty late in the deployment, uh, knowing and putting him up against Red Skull and Zola, where he's going to be wanting to spend power on reactors all the day. So yeah, like, you know, that, that's going to be where it is. that's going to be where it's at. Yeah, it's like the hard counter. Tell Ben he's going to have to have a serious talk with his dice. Yeah, I think he knows for real. Zemos. <laughs> 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 Zemos. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Which six and four? Yeah. Yep. For Nate. For Nate. Yeah. But no terrain destroyed that game either. Yeah. Well, there were a couple of throws, but right when they cost so much more. Because you're just being, you know, there's there's two things that are uh, a constant in life, right? And they're death by Loki taxes. <laughs> you can take that one to the bank. That's a shirt. Mm. Those taxes. Mm -hmm. Got to go to the bank. That seems weird. But we'll take a look at some of the other things that are running around. So we're actually very excited. One of the next games that we're going to be having up here is Simon Jerry is running a. Um, a uh, criminal syndicate with Claw. Yeah, I really want to see that. 
I want to see what he can bring with Claw. So, and actually specifically, let's look at the breakdown for some of the affiliations and stuff for today. One of the things that I love about Longshanks and I highly suggest uh, data looking at Longshanks is the data breakdown. So out of the players we have today, we have uh, three Cabal, three Guardians, three Web Warriors, three Criminal Syndicate, two Brotherhood, two Avengers, two Hellfire, two Hydra, two Defenders, one X-Men, one Winter Guard, one Dark Dimension. I wonder who that is. One X-Force, one Inhumans. Wonder, wonder who that, that is. is. Yeah. One Asgard and one Shield. I'm gonna make it a clear to statement yeah, right now. Oh. I think the Shield player is probably Jin. Probably Jin. Okay. Um, and then once again, huge thank you for uh, for Brian and some of the other TOs that have been helping to make sure all the lists get coded and into Longchain so we can kind of take a look at some of the most popular stuff. Wow, I like this. Look at that tactic card spread. Holy moly. So we do see 15 rosters running Brace. I'm a little surprised it's only 15. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Brotherhood and a couple others prefer Indomitable. Okay, yeah. fair. Uh, Magneto hates being displaced. Uh -huh. um, Eyes on the Prize also kind of Makes it should be up there. Fall back. Similar until it's restricted. Um, I really wish I was a good enough player to understand how to play that card. Fall back. <laughs> also, a uh, huge shout out to our Eyes in the Sky Tactical Taylor for giving us uh, everything that's been going on, and Lindsay for running around and doing posts. So, if you're following any of the socials on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, you'll be able to see pictures and stuff from the event, uh, reels, and stories as well. And Dr. D for nothing. And uh, no, that's not fair. <laughs> the only reason you guys can see us right now physically yeah, in person is because of Dr. Dr. D, so I really appreciate him. Thanks, Dr. D. Um, oh, Age of Ultron. Wow. That's making fun of Dude, new Ultron. Is real nice. Yeah. It's real good. It's really it, like and extra scary. Kill him. Him. You know what I mean? It's even better. Um, oh, I see some Gamora. Some Only yeah. two Psylocke. There's only huh. one X-Men. Wow. Two players. So yeah. That's a oh, and there's a couple lists that really like Angela right now. Huh. Only a couple Deadpool. I wonder if our X Force player is, in fact, uh, is Will Castillo. Uh, is the number one Hulk? Because if it's Hulk, I'm be No, Hulk is not even in the top 10. Oh, he's, he's at number, number nine. nine. Yeah, Wonger McGonagall. Black Cat is taking the number one spot. Interesting. And Beta Ray, we know, is a very important character, a very, a very common character. Uh, ASM, very nice to see there. Same with Spider Woman and Miles. Wow. Liz, I, Luke Cage, Stellar, surprised he's under Lizard. I guess, well, I guess they're tied at four each. Yeah. Oh, um, we did see there's three Web Warrior players, so that. Where is. Cosmic Ghost Rider is 37. Only and I think both of them are Alyssa. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. Now we gotta make it a meme. That picture of the three of you is beautiful. Thank you, X Paxis. Hi. How many Ulix? I didn't uh, see them there at all. fewer. That's too bad. I like Ulix a lot. Yeah, we were, we were talking on the way out here, Ooh, and I mean, we have a uh, Ultron Metal Tyrant. Does that match up to the uh, Age of Ultron? Probably, yeah. Let's look for the threes immediately. Oh, no. yeah, there's three. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But seeing Matt Murdock, uh, OGDD, coming back in, really nice to see. That's probably why we're actually seeing some Defenders players. We want to just take a quick second right now and be like, thank you for the character update. Yeah, see a lot of affiliations actually being shown, right? Only two of my boy boys like. And where is we well, yes, over Wong. <laughs> Wong can only slap things. Bullseye can slap things with paper clips. Yeah, but Wong slaps things away. with iron fists of death. Like every time he attacks, things die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very legitimate. If you, are, if you are having, if you are struggling in your local meadow with Cosmic Ghost Rider, hard counter, long. <laughs> Turns out, hard counter. With long. Four strength builders are gross. Um, and Rhino stock down. I mean, I think having such a great uh, affiliation spread really kind of makes this a lot more panned out, which is kind of the way to go. I like it a lot. I like to see variety. But we'll ride. But we'll we'll talk to uh, to Nate here real quick. 
about him and Baron of Dice's victory today. Take that from the street. Um, wouldn't dare say that with Ben in the room, but otherwise Taylor's nose would start to be gushing blood immediately. <laughs> so Nate, hello, um, welcome, dude. It's so good to see you. It's at, always good to see you at an event up here, man. I'm happy you made the trip. So, um, so tell me about this game. It was almost nostalgic for us, right? Yeah. One of the first big streams we did at Adepticon. You were one of the first people we had on. Yeah. I think, actually. The very first. The very it was, first. Uh, what if? What if? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, seeing you use uh, Loki to great effect. Yeah. And uh, how, I, I can't remember, how late in your deployment was Loki? I think he was like maybe about the fourth. Did, so I, that matchup, uh, Zola and Red Skull with Loki there. Yeah. Is, uh, is rough. It's it's a brutal for his uh, the taxing of the re rolls for Zola. Yeah. It tax like power gauntlets. It, yeah, and, yeah. and Red Skull does his like thing. He's like, oh yeah, I gain two power. It's like cool. You take a damage to gain one. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, and the and the throughput too, right? With empowered gauntlets, like you're looking for everything that's not skulls and blocks. Uh, his, his dice uh, that that were very that was rough rough to watch. Yeah, there was dude. I felt like I was playing. I was like, wow, that is a lot of blocks in that attack. Where everything's good except yep, for that. Everything except the. But uh, so running into um, uh, Red Skull Master of Hydro with this particular list, this, as far as we're aware, this is one you have a lot of kind of like familiarity with. Yeah, absolutely. With uh, Mind Gem Loki. Um, do you find that Mind Gem Loki is really just an awesome stickler for that particular affiliation or any affiliation where someone is getting a bunch of rerolls or defensive tech? Uh, so I'm not going to lie. The entire reason Loki, I mean, in addition to just being a great splash piece for Avengers and stuff. Yeah. Uh, my, yeah, one power, I am a god, is like... It's, it's, a, it's a drug. And being able to see, like... So can you... Actually, so very legitimately, is there going to be a point where, like, you can't not use him? Because, I mean, he's, he's stapled to a lot of lists, right? It'd be mm -hmm. like, well, but... I will just... I'm a god... Oh, no. I can't, like, not in Avengers or something <laughs> along those lines. Yeah. Uh, it, it gets very tough running him outside of Steve because it's like, oh, I can't mind Jim and I am a god every single turn. Right. Just uh, off the rip, which is it's sad. But you know, Loki makes a, a fantastic Avenger. I mean, uh, but the, the whole reason he was on the table this time, I think uh, on Scoundrels, it's probably wiser to go with a wider team. So Loki could have been like Black Widow and another three or I can yeah. bump some things around. Mm -hmm. uh, but my goal this weekend is to put uh, Loki on the table every single game. So that's why Loki was on the table. I like that. So Dr. D wrote an article for us a little while ago about uh, setting goals for going to conventions, right? Mm -hmm. Like if you're shooting for the top, like awesome. Hell yeah. Full send. But like having those um, those other like sub goals is actually super important. And I love Loki being out every time. Yeah. I know Melissa has some here or there that's like, well, I'm going to run in humans every game or Medusa needs to be out or something along those lines. Taylor, uh, when he goes to an event, is normally to tie somebody, which Oof. is super toxic and aggressive. But <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough one to manage, too. Yeah. Um, but so do you run against um, Master of Hydra on a, on a regular basis or? Uh, it's been a little bit. I've not gone up against uh, the Baron Strucker variety before. Yeah. So that was uh, it was kind of cool to see him getting the refunds on all these really cheap tech cards. So it's like, hey, sacrifice only costs one power. I get one power back. Mm -hmm. And same for Brace. So it's a cool utilization of the uh, ability there. Uh, I kind of hate for him that he didn't have the chance to use the uh, what is it? Bring another fourth thread. It's uh, uh, yeah, high council. High council would have been uh, terrifying to see. So like, it's one of those things. It's like ah, I can't let you do this. It'd be cool, but yeah. Uh, so. Um, and with that, his setup there, he could have had one of three different leaders, right? For Hydra. Yeah. So, I mean, give me a little bit, but how do you plan to go into that where he can run uh, Red Skull, Master of Hydra, Baron Strucker, or New Zemo? Uh, it, it, I think if it is Strucker or uh, Red Skull, because their leaderships are going to continuously affect throughout the entire game, mm -hmm. it's just kind of if they present themselves in a way to just get them off the table quickly. Yeah. Uh, and so when he double moved Red Skull to within range two of Loki and Steve off the rip, it's just kind of like, okay, 
my first objective this game is to yeah. daze him. It has to be, right? Yeah. So, and I mean, in a different situation where he has priority into round two, that's terrifying. Yeah. And uh, with you having priority, at least you have a shot. Mm -hmm. I think that sacrifice that he did uh, on the illusions going into Arnim Zola and then Zola only taking one. Yeah, Zola took one, was not the... Uh, uh, thankfully, with how the, the timing works, I didn't have to spend two for I'm a God. Yeah. Because like, if the attack had been able to follow through on Skull, I would have like, spent all the power and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. But uh, going to Zola, I was able to save a couple power in case I needed to Trickster or I'm a God for defensive stuff. We were pretty convinced uh, on his first activation in that second round, he was going to be going with with Red Skull. Yeah, that's uh, 100% what I was expecting. As yeah. Well. Um, and he, he ended up going with... Uh, Zola, right? Zola, yeah. Just to, I assume just to try to debuff people a little bit with uh, those experimental weapons, but yeah, but yeah. All right, we'll have you taken a look at some of the other stuff that's out there. We have a really kind of nice spread. There is a, a really cool and diverse field. Uh, I'm looking forward to being able <laughs> the to camera play. Skill. <laughs> Can you just look left for me real quick? <laughs> hey, Tisdale. Oh, what's uh, up? Normally, you announce yourself in such a more specific way that... Actually, uh, Nate was here this time. Right. <laughs> what hey, up, buddy? Um, can you roll worst dice, please? Uh, can I roll worst dice? <laughs> I will. I, 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 I made up for it later. My dice went a little bit cold, oh, yeah, just yeah. not when it yeah. mattered yeah. for this game. Right. right. Now, so one of the other things that we were talking about during this first match was uh, T.O. Brian Watson was allowing grudge matches. Yeah. So you could call out uh, the first person you were going to play in round one. So thankfully, well before pairings were done, we knew Ban and Nate were going to be playing against each other. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I couldn't tell exactly what you guys heard, but I was like, I think, honestly, Ben's big mistake was accepting your grudge match. <laughs> <laughs> well, I learned something today, to be honest, is uh, um, Avengers, the way you play them is just web warriors that deals damage. Uh -huh. it just <laughs> it's, it's really wild how that works. <laughs> um, the other thing, too, I've already forgotten the point I was going to make. Oh, but uh, we I did my uh, chucker, big chucker, big call of the game before we started the game, and I said there will be an amazingly impactful Red Wing assault towards the end of the game. And then I saw Sam move up and he charged and he threw that shield and I was like, here it is. <laughs> here it is. Hey, Lizard, go over there. <laughs> yep. And did you end up getting both of them with that Red Wing assault too? Uh, Kale is trucker. I, 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 I did. Down. Did you get Lizard too? Uh, so, oh, he yeah, Lizard the, was the, the, the one who got hit with the yeah. Red Wing yeah. and it through him and uh, the dodge roll was enough to where is Taylor's hair it also cost him 125 bits to use today so he did elected not to <laughs> but but Nate well congratulations on a, on a round one yeah, win. that's a great way to start good uh, good way to start the day and uh, you know <laughs> just I'm Shout out, Ben. Uh, honestly, uh, for for the way his dice rolls went, I, I feel he kept it together very well. He did. He absolutely did. But thanks for having me on, man. Absolutely, absolutely. good, to see, good to see you. Uh, check out the Gamers Guild on YouTube as well as uh, we're all good podcasts are sold. Uh, it alternates every week, right between MCP and uh, Shadowpoint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah! Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, so we are going to be back here in a little bit in round two should be starting i think a little after 11 30 so we're going to take a very brief break here we're going to go grab some water uh, grab cough drops you know what i mean make sure our voices are good and pure and clean and gotta win it now nate <laughs> tisdale says you gotta take it yeah, the, the whole thing you gotta sweep it now but uh so yesterday there was a toys for tots uh charity event as well ben and uh nate played in that uh, effectively, you can spend a dollar for a token to be able to outbid your opponent for certain uh, effects or abilities. There was also a Herald of Galactus uh, side portion of that as well. So there was five different ranks of that kind of that would happen throughout the course of the game. Hey, Terralecta, thank you for the follow. Uh, the first one was called Herald of Worlds. Or heed the words of the Herald of Galactus. Each character loses power equal to half the number of the round leveled up. Second phase, a shadow looms. Each character gains hex. If it already has hex, it gains shock. <laughs> Very much welcome, sir. Um, hi, Tisdale. Hi, Tisdale. Uh, if the shock is already there, you gain root. Third is meteors fall at his arrival. 
You choose a terrain piece closest to the center of the table. All characters within range two suffer a collision from it. Destroy said terrain. Fourth wave. Panic sweeps the city. Remove all civilian tokens from the game. If there are no civilians, all characters drop tokens they are holding. Finally, behold the devourer of worlds. Determine north, east, south, or west. Closest character to that edge takes five damage. No defense Next roll. Next closest, four, then three, then two, then one. <laughs> so effectively a wave of energy sweeping across the battlefield doing five, four, three, two, one. And I like how he determ uh, came up with the rules to determine the table sides. Yes, he did. So um, the edge of the winner of priority is north. When a uh, die roll is needed, a crit wild is north, a hit is east, a blank is south, and block or skull is west. So actually very nice that the uh, eight-sided die has two. You, know, you can you can break it up into quarters actually very easily. Yeah. But, but yeah, so we will be back, I think, probably within 10 minutes. We are not going to be gone long. Um, let's take a look at Longshanks real quick for some of the other... Or bum, 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 bum. Some of the other results. So Jeff Trost of the Pork Roll Protocol, uh, winning 16 to 10 over Joe Gagna Payne. It's like reading the screen names again. Uh, 15 threat, running struggling, uh, struggle for the cube and gamma waves. Fill the thrill. Beat Robert Real. Wow. No, Rob's not going to be happy either. Shout out to Phil. Yeah, uh, that's, that's an opponent. No. Not real. I, I don't want to say his real name. <laughs> uh, but Robert Rialli, uh 17 to 3 against Phil. And then we also have Simon Vakablitz Jerry uh, running Wakanda with Cabal or with um, uh, Baku. Nope. Uh, oh, Criminal Syndicate. Uh, 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 Claw. But he uh, had M'Baku for the leader there. Yeah, I talked to him for a minute. Um, 19 to 9 against Nick. Is that also... A new player. Oh, gotcha. He's, he's oh. been playing sin for like a month. Really? Yeah. Or maybe it was November last year. So there, said, there are even more Nicks. Yeah. Like, like a third of this event is Nick. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, Jean Nicolas uh, winning over Justin Pieters and Nate Jared winning over Ben. So John. I went to the room and looked around a little bit, uh, chat with people for a moment, and I uh, saw younger Phil. Yes. Running from Dark Dimension? Or no, was he well, I was looking at the table and I was looking around and I see, um, I forget what, not, I didn't see any Dormammu on the table. And I'm looking at it and I look at Phil and I look at the table and I look at Phil and he goes, he's right there. And he had him in the box at the end of the table. He was like, it's not a good matchup for what he had. So he sent his minions instead. And I was like, you know, he's like, we were just talking about how there's one Dark Dimension player. I'm like, I wonder who it is. He's like, no, don't worry, I got you. So yeah, he's got. <laughs> so uh, we were talking about his roster a little bit last night. So he has uh, Dormammu, he has Crimson Dynamo, he has Emma Frost. <laughs> he has That's so good. Uh, Hulkbuster. He has four different leaders. <laughs> so we were talking last night. I said, like, "Can you actually run all four? So we were looking at his uh, his Avengers roster. He can make the main three, right? Uh, Hellfire and Dormammu, not difficult. Oh yeah. Uh, Crimson Dynamo. He also has Red Guardian in the roster too. So he could potentially feasibly uh, pull out a uh, Winter Guard. Um, Avengers though. Not a whole lot of Avengers character in there. Huh. Tell Nate to enter his results. <laughs> um, but uh, so we're like, okay, listen, man. So Hulkbuster is six, right? I think. Yeah. Easy fix. Just run super down on points, and you're fine. Easy class. Just run. Please. What is that? Thirteen. Let me see, yeah, what was his other? <laughs> Do you have Red Guardian, uh, Crimson Dynamo, and Hulkbuster? Let's look up Phil, actually. Oh my gosh. Because uh, he is still mid-game. Uh, a lot of Pork Roll Protocol, a lot of uh, Montreal Shark Tank today, which is actually super cool to see. Yeah. I love uh, these events can get people to travel. Phil, there we go. From the Ravens of Midgard. So he is running... 
Dormammu. Oh, Black Widow's the second Avenger. Uh, Crimson Dynamo, Dark Star, Omega Red, Red Guardian, Emma Frost, Hood, Hulkbuster, and Nick Fury and the Howling Commandos. He's got Dark Star too, so yeah. So his he can do uh, sixteen points. For I think even throw in a, uh, another splash. Well, and uh, Black Widow is now part of Winter Guard as well. So Wait, uh, there's only one, one of the Black Widows that is. Is it? Is I, it the two threat one? That's a great question. I, I think forget. it's the two threat. I think it is. Listen, I got a really quick way to tell. I can't remember. Um, by looking at the affiliation list. <laughs> Luckily, it's posted online. For all, it is. Uh, Brian Freddy says, yes, yeah, the two. Yeah. I oh, so does Keebler. Okay. We should just look at chat. Also, they know. Also, Keebler, chat always knows. Keebler, shout out today, man, to you. I saw your message on Discord. Heal up, man. Um, right. Yeah, we, get yeah, better soon. We miss you being here. But listen, it is, in fact, uh, 1139 somewhere. So appreciate it. All right, guys. Yeah, so he's got plenty of Winter Garden in that list. So we will be back here momentarily. Um, and yeah, a lot more MCP left for today. We have three rounds left. Um, hoping to see some claw here in a little while. Ooh. But we'll be right back. Enjoy.